The program we're using is called iMovie. There's the icon right there with the little star. Just tap on it to start. This is the home screen for iMovie. As you can see, I've got a couple of projects on the go. We're going to be starting a new project. To start a new project, click on that little plus sign right there. You get a new screen right here. There are several parts to this, new, to this screen. There is back to the main menu, record audio, insert media. This one right here is settings. This is take pictures with a camera or a video camera. The, the one built into your device that is. And this one right here is play your project. This big screen right here is a preview pane, so you can see exactly what's going on. This one down here is your timeline. We'll get into using those as we go through. Your first step is to add media. Now probably you already have your pictures taken or your video added in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the add media button right here. Now it defaults to going to the video. If I wanna add video, what I do is I can click on here. Now if I'm not sure if it's the right one, if I click and hold, and if I drag, it scrolls through the video so I can see exactly which video it is. Because especially if you've taken a couple of videos where they're both very similar, maybe you didn't get something right, this is useful to help you figure out which one you wanted. So I'll take that one. Now I can notice how a box showed up around it. Now if I want the whole thing, I just click on that arrow and the whole thing goes in. If I only want part of the video, I click on one of these dots. Now if I want the last half, I click on this dot and drag it back. This preview window, if I move a little slower, lets me see exactly what I want. And you'll notice on the left there, it tells me how many seconds I've got a video, 9.1 seconds, 6.6 .6 seconds. If I want to trim the end off, click on the end right here, and it goes. I'm going to put the whole thing in for now. I can always trim it later if I don't want it all. Click on the arrow, and in it goes. See there, it showed up on my timeline. To add in pictures, I click on the same place, Add Media. Now instead of clicking in Video, I want to click on Photos. Go to Camera Roll. All your pictures are going to be in Camera Roll. Now what I need to do is start picking the pictures I want to use. I like this one of the drill. Let's put that one in. See the little wheel that's spinning there? It means it's being added in. Just got it added into my timeline. Add another one. Keep adding all your pictures until you've got everything in that you want. If I want to get a better, closer look at which picture I'm, I'm using, I can click and I can hold and you get a, a big picture. Well, you can see my stylus is in the way, but that allows me to see better what I'm putting in because that little thumbnail is actually pretty small. So I click. All right, now that we have all of our video and photo clips in, there's a couple things we can do. If we need to move a, a photo or, or video around, if it's not in the right spot, it's a fairly easy process. I want this one close to the beginning. Now I'm going to click on it, and then the picture is going to pop up a little bit. That means I've got it selected. Click and hold, not tap. Click and hold. So I'm going to click on it and see how it popped up there. Let me do that again. I'm going to tap, and then the picture just popped up. Now, just a matter of sliding it over. Come on. Now if I hold it at the edge here, it'll just keep sliding forward. It takes a little bit getting used to and you gotta be a little patient. Now let's say I wanted this picture right there. There, I just moved it. Works the same way for video clips. I don't want to put all my video clips at the beginning, so I'm gonna click on that. Notice how it popped up. I'm gonna slide it sideways. Quite work with prop. To move the video clip, I 
tap on it, hold, just slide sideways until it gives me a spot. And I'll put it right there, I like that spot. If I have a photo or video in there that I don't like, it's a fairly simple process to delete it out. I notice I've got two pictures of that drill in there. So I obviously don't need both of them. Now to get rid of it, there are two ways. The easiest way is to select it. So click, hold, wait till it pops up, out. When it pops out, you drag it up. And notice how there's a little cloud up in the corner, top left hand corner. That means it's going to be deleted. And when I'm holding it up and out of the timeline, let go, and it's gone. The other way you can delete a photo or clip is if I click on, if I double tap on it. If I double tap, there's a little button here that says delete clip. To undo something that you've done, maybe you've deleted something you don't want to. You take your device, shake, oh, look at that. We have an undo button that pops up. Click undo, and it's back in. If you want to redo something that you undid, shake it again. Now I have an option. I can either undo again, or I can redo. Put it back in.